Hey there, Tia meteorologist Chris Holcomb. It has been a cold day. We bumped up to 35 degrees above freezing for just a brief period this afternoon. We've been well below freezing since the uh, sun went down. We're going to stay below freezing, moving down to about 23 degrees here in the morning, and then rebounding tomorrow afternoon. It's going to be about 13 degrees warmer than it was today, getting up to 48 in the afternoon hours. We're going to give that a five on the wasometer, mainly just because that very cold morning, it's still going to be sunny, looking nice out there, but these temperatures, very cold for this time of year, below average, and then finally warming up. Now, something that you might want to do tonight, overnight, if you don't mind getting out in the cold, you've got to bundle up if you're going to head out there, is the Quadrantids meteor shower tonight. Now, what's going to happen is if you look up toward the northeast sky later on tonight, you will see the potential for a few meteors flying by. And uh, this is a pretty active meteor shower. It's uh, often overlooked, though, because it is in the wintertime. Many times it's blocked by clouds, and many times it's very cold, and people don't want to get out to see it. But if you don't mind bundling up and getting out there, it will peak around 2 a.m., look toward the northeast. It has a maximum rate of about 100 per hour. And this is one of those meteor showers that's really quick. It has a short peak. It's not going to be one of those things that's going to linger around with us for the next couple of nights. It's going to be just during the overnight hours tonight, and then it's going to be over. So if you want to take your chances and go out there and get cold, go for it. We're going to have clear skies, nice uh, viewing conditions for it as far as visually. But again, those temperatures are just going to be so cold out there tonight. The wind trying to die down a little bit. It'll start picking up a little bit tomorrow afternoon, just generally between 8 and 12 miles an hour. But it'll be uh, about 4 to 8, 5 to 10 miles an hour early in the morning. So the wind chill isn't going to be that much of an issue as it was this morning. You can see those lows down to 23 early in the morning. Plenty of sunshine warming a little more rapidly tomorrow than it did today. 32 by 10, 36 at 11 will be in the 40s by 12 and then 48 degrees for that high temperature today or for tomorrow. Now showing you this graphic over the past few days and it was titled cold blast for the weekend and yesterday because we were talking about the colder air moving in here. Well now it's called warming up because we're at the bottom of the curve. That blue line indicating the average high for this time of year which is 52. Today we got down to uh, we got up to only 35 degrees. That was our high temperature. Tomorrow will be warmer, 48, but that's still going to be a little bit below where we should be for this time of year. We'll be back to above average just barely on Thursday with a high of 53, and then 58 on Friday. So you can see how those temperatures are moving upward. That's a, a better direction, I think, for a lot of folks. So here's your forecast: 48 today, 53 Thursday. Actually, that's 48 on Wednesday, 53 Thursday, 58 Friday, and then 60s on Saturday, but we'll see a better chance for some scattered showers to develop Saturday, ending early Sunday, cooling back down into the 50s for your Monday and also on Tuesday. Tesla McNeil's going to be in with you uh, bright and early on uh, Wednesday morning with more on this frigid air, so tune in to him beginning at 4.30 a.m. Uh, to see what's happening with those temperatures, and uh, then I'll be back with you again tomorrow afternoon. So we hope you have a great night.